Hi, Lily. Hi, Louie. Man, today's patrol was the best one ever. It was? Yeah, we bumped into a brainling and chased it through an arcade, and then we went on a bunch of rides at the amusement park, and finally, we cornered it at the ice cream shop. Hey, it's 17 scoops. 17! Really? Really. And it turns out, it wasn't even a brainling. It was just a cat. A gross cat. Well, we had fun, too. First, we played dollies. Then, we played unicorn. Then, we played unicorn dolly small claims court. You gotta help me, mate. I can't take this whole unicorn playtime babysitting stuff. Objection! Let me go on patrol with you. With all of you. You? On a patrol? Uh, what are you gonna do in a fight? Out science the brainlings? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Throw your flashlight at him? No, you know I have a sore elbow. Louie, you're just not, you know, heroic. <sighs> huh? Huh? Don't worry about it, buddy. There's nothing wrong with being a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Oh, I almost forgot. Bummer. <laughs> Later. Not heroic? You want heroic? How about this? Ha! <laughs> 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 That's gonna bruise. Oh, no. Hey, get off me! Who's there? Whoa. Looking good, Louie. Looking heroically good. Sweet. <laughs> Too much ice cream. My tummy's a bit upset. We can tell. <laughs> that one wasn't me. Over there, look! It's Emperor Brainlios III and Brian. And they're playing croquet with bombs? Cut it! Another club! There's only one club in croquet, my lord. This is horrible! Yeah, they're not even following proper croquet etiquette. Okay, two squads. Turret, you, Jumbo Ninja, and Scoop. Wait, look at that! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, I think it's... <gasps> The Spandexter! Who is that? Behold, forces of evil, prepare to eat justice. Come on! Him. Freeze! Oops. Didn't anyone tell you it's not cool to wear fur? Fur? That's hilarious! Oh man, this guy is awesome! <laughs> You can't wear a tree. This guy's awesome! Brian, we just have to find out who he is. Rain lights! Spandexter, get out of there! Hindsight, croquet with bombs may have been a bad idea. was amazing! It was? I mean, it was! Scoop here from the Scoop Scoop website. Care to answer some questions for our readers? Uh... What's your real name? Where did you come from? Are you free Friday night? Well, I'm, uh... yeah. Dude, you should come back to base with us. Our friend Louie would love to meet you. He's really into sciencey junk. That guy Louie sounds really, really cool and handsome. But I have to, uh, you know, fight the forces of evil or whatever. Science away! <sighs> now there's a hero. Yes! Now there's a hero. That fan Dexter has used his rocket boots to fly straight into my heart. <sighs> I demand that you capture him and make him my sidekick. Just think of all the adventures he could have with me, Captain Fizzbomb! Take that, evildoer! Oh, I'll get him all right! Into oblivion! Sweet! <laughs> oh. I really need to work on my landings. Are you ready to play Unicorn yet? Teriyaki is a terrible judge! I'll, I'll play later. Right now I need to get out of this costume. Why can't I come with you guys to fight the brain lane? It's just too dangerous. 
Your brother would freak out. Besides, what are you gonna do? Throw a unicorn at them? Louis, we just met the Spandexter, the coolest hero ever. Really? Coolest ever? Oh, totally. I want to recruit him. You'd love him. He has all these cool gadgets. But he's also heroic. Maybe he could teach you a thing or two. I wonder who he is. I bet he's a rock star. He's probably a lion tamer and a rock star. You know, the Spandexter could be anyone. Even me. <laughs> Sorry, Admiral Flashlight. The Spandexer was tall and muscular, and he smelled like sports cars and white chocolate and success. Actually, I... And the best part is, he's a man of mystery. Wait, so the fact that you don't know who he is makes you like him even more? Uh-huh. Then, uh, never mind. I'm off to write my shocking expose on the Spandexter. I'll help put hearts over the eyes. Uh, I mean, grenades, of course. If Scoop likes the Spandex's secret identity, then a secret it shall remain. Sweet! <laughs> Spandexter cooks brain links for breakfast. <laughs> Spandexter goat's best friend? <laughs> Heavier than he looks? Oh, brother. Me! Just gotta rest a sec. <laughs> Come on, I gotta show you something. You're probably all wondering why I've called you to the rooftop of the discount spotlight warehouse. Well, wonder no longer. Behold, the Spandexter signal. With this, we'll be able to summon the spandex for whenever we need them, like for patrols and stuff. Or moonlit walks on the beach. I mean, what? Isn't it great, Louie? Um, sure, but aren't you worried it's gonna attract the brainlings? Nah, but if they do show up, the spandexter will save us. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, your bubbling pinkosity. Oh, Brian! Why isn't the Spandexter my sidekick already? I want you to find him. <laughs> I've been trying. It's not as if he's going to just light up a giant beacon or... <laughs> Hooray! He probably wants to meet me. To the Fizz Wagon! <laughs> Fizz Bomb! Don't worry. The Spandexter will be here any minute. Um, I need to go to the bathroom. You can't leave now. You'll miss the Spandexter. Look! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's... it's... Ryan! Ryan! Get those groupies out of here! They'll scare off Spandexter. Brainlings! Attack! Don't worry. The Spandexter will save us. Any minute now. Ah! The searchlight. <laughs> Take that, Brainly. <laughs> now that's what I call lights out. I don't believe it. Louis did throw his flashlight at them. <laughs> Where's your spare next to now? There! Lily? <laughs> wow, he's even better than I remember! Ah. Go, Spandy! Go, Spandy! Go! Go! Go, Spandy! Is that a... A unicorn? I don't believe it. She did throw a unicorn at them. He's coming! You're not as tall as I remember. I knew you'd come. Oh, thanks for the save, Spandexter. How would you like to join Sweet full time? I can't. There's too much for me to do. I understand. But remember this. Wherever there is trouble, I'll be there. Wherever there is injustice, I'll be there. And wherever there is a unicorn who needs legal counsel, you will find the Spandexter! Oh, look at him. Thanks for saving me, Louie. It was very 
heroic. Oh, um, yeah. I, I mean... Was the Spandexter's voice a little high to you? And I think he smelled like strawberries. Who cares? I got my eye on someone else. <sighs> you do? How? <sighs> you know, Nate, I could build you a better device to help contact the Spandexter if you'd like. Oh, that's okay. Who needs the Spandexter when we have a Louie? Yeah, Louie! Hey, Louie, buddy! buddy. Go You're the best! Be my sidekick? Yeah! Please! Please, please! Go away! But I have busy soda! As you can see, here is the handle, and over there, the spout. Now, if my calculations are correct, then we would just need to tip us over and pour us out. That's why I think I'm a little teapot is the perfect strategy for our battle against the brainlings. Guys, I just broke the story of the century! Here we go again. There's a candy monster loose in the swell mart. All of our chocolate is in danger. Look! It has lollipop fingers. A candy monster? I thought they preferred to hang around temperate coastal regions. That's clearly just shakes covered in chocolate bars. What? No way! Scoop, all your stories are big fakes. I mean, where's the journalistic integrity? Hey, I take great pride in uncovering the stories that need to be told. Like your piece on the stuffed animals in the mall going extinct? You can't fight evolution. Or the story about the slice of French toast with an image of Jumbo Ninja on it. That really changed my breakfast eating habits. Or the one about Nate being controlled by a hyper-intelligent goat that lives in the customer service kiosk. That would explain why I've had a hankering to eat cans lately. Come on, I tailed that goat for two whole minutes. Please, go away. Yes, sir. It's true, I tell you. But if you don't believe in the candy monster, I'll find a story you will believe in. Because this story will be every story ever. I'm not kidding. I tuned out at Lollipop Fingers. Wait! Won't believe me, will they? Well, I'll find a... Ooh, a story! Nope, just garbage. A story! Nope. Just a hot dog cart. Aha! Nope. Just a brainling scientist holding a suspicious crate. Brainling? Scientist? Suspicious? Crate? I've got to find out where he got that tiny lab coat. You had your chance, hot dog cart! Sweet! That must be some sort of tiny lab coat outlet mall. I gotta get in there and find out how much they cost. <gasps> Time to get key raked in! Wait! <gasps> wow, we're using a record number of crates for this scheme. Kudos all around! <laughs> This is definitely not an outlet mall. What are they up to? <gasps> so what time is dinner, Brian? Must I remind you, my most imperial bottomless food bag in this, we're not here for dinner. We're here to create our newest secret weapon. Behold! <laughs> Any second now. <laughs> oh, can they seal these things tight? <laughs> I give you crumb! <gasps> Incredible! So, when are we gonna eat it? Eat it? Don't you see? This is super clay! Ten times stronger than the standard space clay we use to make our brainling <laughs> bodies! Simply put, clump will allow us to build thicker, fatter brainlings! Behold! Again! <laughs> Stronger, faster, tougher. It has six arms, six legs, and one butt. Because who would need more than one butt? <laughs> I can't believe it. I chip my nail polish. Bravo! That guy looks like he can party. <laughs> and this stuff tastes delicious. <laughs> but I could use a cherry on top. 
Oh, much better. <laughs> it really is the scoop of the year. The Emperor loves cherries. Plus, that meggling seems like it could also be important. <laughs> That's her! Uh, family portrait? Woo! Picture! Oh, hey! Hey! Bruh? Got a smudge on your face. That's my mustache. Sorry, looked like chocolate. Say cheese! Can we do another one? I think I have my eyes closed. Sweet! Perhaps this simple display will clearly illustrate the finer points of the teapot song. I told you I'd find the story of the year, and I did! Uh-huh. For real this time! I went into a lab called Alamo, but it wasn't. It was a secret brainling research center. The Emperor was there, and get this, he loves cherries. Cherries? That's your story of the year? Well, uh, there was this huge brainling they created. It's called the Megaling. Uh, check it out! Why is it all black? Impossible! It's not like I... left the lens cap on. You have to believe me! The Megaling is made out of some sort of super clay. It has all these arms and legs, but it only had one butt. Only one butt? That sounds totally made up, even for you. I concur. We all know that if you made a gigantic brainling, it would need upwards of six butts in order to maintain its center of gravity. A cheek, a leg. It's just science. I believe you, Scoop. And not just because I pretty much believe everything. Lots of people don't believe me, so why shouldn't I give you a chance? You know what they say? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, that's cool. Fool me thrice, and uh, well, you should probably just show me this megaling with the one butt. Sweet! Then I pass that milk carton, and then that hot dog cart. And here we are. You know, I have a really good feeling about this. I swear it wasn't like this before. Where are the crates? The lab coats. Cherries. They're either coated in some sort of brainling invisibility spray, or they never existed. But, but, the megaling was right there. <laughs> ah! I was right. Drat! I was sure it was gonna be the invisibility spray. I really was. I am the best journalist ever. Too bad you won't make your deadline. <laughs> is the tastiest secret weapon ever! <laughs> you super wicked annoying kids aren't going anywhere! Megaling! Oh. Megaling! Stop them with your club given power! I know one thing that can beat it. The teapot song. Okay, if I'm a little teapot, short and stout, here is my. Here is my. And they all laughed when I said he'd have only one butt. Who's laughing now, Dad? <laughs> this just in. Plump rump bump will make you slump. Still got it, Scoop. Oh. <laughs> what is that heavenly smell? <laughs> the clump, of course! You're only making the megaling bigger! Oh, I get it. You want us to get crushed by that thing? Not quite. Emperor Brainlius III can't resist eating clump. Ergo, the more clump on the megaling, the more he'll want to eat it. Except he doesn't want to eat it. Oh, oh. Not a problem. We just need to make the megaling more appetizing. Good thing I take this whipped cream blaster everywhere I go. It's not working, Nate. The Emperor still doesn't care. Whipped cream is so last year. Memo to children, the megaling is unfazed by your delicious treats. Wait a minute. I know something the Emperor can't resist. Feed him a tin can. Wait a minute. That was a goat. <laughs> Wait, that didn't happen. Or did it? But it could use a cherry on top. <gasps> a cherry on top! Look! 
The SLR 1000 Maraschino Cherry Dispenser with Twin Combine Action. Groovy. Time to put the cherry on top. Whoa! Don't worry, I got this. Cherry time! Hey, Brainlius! Check this out! You are on fire with the puns today. <laughs> My precious clump, gone. Well, at least I still have the rest of... No. Oh, no! Uh -oh. Hey! Scoop, <gasps> the greatest reporter of all time. We want to apologize. You broke an incredible story. About the Megalin? Megaling? No way! We're talking about the French toast! It really does look like Jumbo Ninja! The Megaling does exist! But the Emperor eats anything with a cherry on top and he ate the Megaling and everything else! Then he had gas! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Scoop. At least we know you broke a real story. I sure did. <laughs>